Hi everyone, Jennifer from Tarl Speech. I have another book review today. This is I Am Harriet Tubman by Brad Meltzer with illustrations by Christopher Eliopoulos, part of the Ordinary People Change the World series. Again, Brad, you're amazing. This book is incredible, really hard topic, slavery. How do we talk about that with kids and introduce it in a way? Scary topic. It's very uncomfortable to talk about. Um, hard for kids to even imagine that this happened. And so, you know, it introduces Harriet as a child, as all of his books do. It talks about how they worked for no money. They were slaves. And this is the part that really just gets to kids. And it's so hard for a lot of them talking about how you could even be taken away from your family as a slave and sold to a new family. That is really hard for kids thinking you are just taken away from your family. They just can't even um, imagine it. I will say that if you have a super sensitive child, this book might be for when they're a little bit older. Different children have um, different reactions to this, but I typically um, don't read this in groups until kids are a little bit older. I'd say maybe third or fourth, um, third or fourth grade. Just goes on to talk about how hard life is. Um, she gets hit in the head with um, um, a big um, piece of metal and she has you know, problems for the rest of her life, severe headaches. And that's all true. And then one day she just decides she's going to leave and she walks. This also blows kids minds. She walks to freedom. She gets out and then she makes the super bright choice of going back and helping more people to escape to freedom in the North. Um, I also love that it goes on to talk about when she, um, it talks about the civil war and when she was older that, um, she established a new home in Auburn, New York for poor, old and sick African Americans. So she was helping all the way up until the end. And she lived an amazingly wonderful, long life. Brad always does such a great job of summing things up at the end. Um, we love the end picture here because if you look closely, you can see characters from Brad's other books. And that's always fun to go back and talk about, oh, we read that book. I know who that is. This is what I remember about that person. So in this one, um, you see Neil Armstrong for sure. Um, he sticks out to me. And so you could talk about him. Also, Brad is always hidden in the picture and you can look for him as well. And the book ends in every life we face hard decisions. At those times, we can make the safe choice or the right choice. Would you put yourself at risk to help someone else? Would you stand up to someone mighty in order to help someone who is weak? To answer those questions, you must follow your heart, your own North Star, and will always point you in the right direction. I do try to bring this down um, to a level where the kids can reflect on their own choices and how they can stand up for people who might be weaker in class um, or someone who is even at the grocery store that might not be able to do something and you can help them maybe reach something on a higher shelf or if someone has a walker, offer to help carry their groceries. So kind of make it a little more um, digestible for the kids because these are big topics to talk about that you're leaving everything and everyone you know and walking away from it to walk to freedom. And even once you're in freedom, you don't know how you're going to make your way in this world. It's very scary and very big. So making it a little more tangible for them is really, really helpful. Always ends with pictures. The kids are always shocked that there's an actual photo of Harriet Tubman since she lived such a long time ago. They do love seeing that. Um, and it's just amazing. So this book is incredible as all of Brad's books are. So I am Harriet Tubman by Brad Meltzer. Go out and get yourself a copy. You will not be disappointed. Enjoy.